Folks, welcome into another episode here of Hot Topics on PubSportsRadio.com. Bring in Jeff Nadu, the big man on campus. We're itching to get ready, Jeff. We want sports to be back in our life. Do we have a crack in the landscape? Or is the sun coming through the clouds as Dr. Fauci comes out and says, hey, you know what? We can have sports back. Just maybe not with people in the stands, but it can be done. Yeah, I, I think that's something we all envisioned would happen. Look, Donnie, you're getting to the point now where, you know, we, we've been doing this over a month now. We're starting to get to the point where we're, we're getting used to this. Okay. It's kind of like when you go to jail, Donnie, you know, you have a couple bad nights right away, but then you start to see how things work and you figure you're here to stay. So you got to do what you got to do. I think that's where we are right now. You know, you're starting to see a lot of the numbers go down. You're starting to see us get through some of the bad times. I know for me, Donnie, uh, you know, I I'm pretty used to it at this point. I think it is what it is. Um, you know, we could complain and bitch and whine all we want, but uh, there's nothing we can really do about it. I think the sports see that. I think Fauci is starting to see it. I think people realize that, you know, as long as you don't have gigantic crowds, it could probably be done. No, and you're also saying that some of the uh, snapshots that came out from that, Jeff, is nobody comes to the stadium, the players stay in hotels, you know, keep them under surveillance there, test them each and every week. It can be done because, look, as much as we want sports to come back and come back as fast as we can, you know, 80,000 people in an arena or a stadium might not be the best option. But let's also keep in mind, Jeff, life is going on right now. Like It's not like we're all in our house. People are working. You're still getting food deliveries. You're going to the store. You're getting gas. So life is still out there. If you can modify some things, why can't it work? Yeah, I, 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 I've said that for a while, and I think we've all said that for a while. I, I don't think it's that difficult. Um, I think the problem you, you're you going to have, Donnie, is getting players to want to do it. Because you look – and hear me out here. Think if you're a guy like Mike Trout. Mike Trout's worth, Donnie, from a net worth perspective, about $50 million. Um, or, or, you know, any of these big player time, More big time players. Yeah. Whatever. I mean, his net worth. So, so the money he's actually been paid yeah. and he has. I, I, how do you say to someone like that? Hey, look, uh, we want you to go for a couple of months and leave. And, and again, I'm not necessarily saying my child, anybody with kids. Chris Sell made a comment. I don't know if I can leave my kids for four or five months. I think that's real, Donnie. I mean, it, you're basically going back to like training camp where they used to go to like hotels and stay. Or this is a long road trip. It's a four month road trip, basically. So I think that's going to be the problem. I don't think the logistics are that difficult. That would be something you could figure out. But it's, I guess my question is, Donnie, let's say you have the season normal. You, mm -hmm. you, you're at your regular ballpark, you just don't have fans. I guess what is the concern with going back and forth to home? You're already home now, Correct. no? Correct. You're already, like, I, I, I guess my whole thing is, like, how does that change? Like, as you're testing people and, and people know whether they have it or not, well, I don't understand why we can't just do it regular and just have no fans. No, I, I think your point is, is is well taken because we're all quarantined with ourselves. So the chances of, you know, reaching out and getting it, I mean, that's still going to be a human element possibility. But I think if we're looking at major, we're not talking about the average everyday citizen here, Jeff. You're talking about the top players in the world getting the top medical care possible that will be surveillance when they come to the ballpark, they'll have their temperature taken, they'll have right. all the tests done. And routinely, we're talking about we can't even get tests now. They're going to be tested every few days or every week. And again, if they are sick, they are athletes, they will go home and quarantine like the rest of the public and the rest will come in Isn't that way you have a 14 day DL a 21 DL right. that could certainly happen not everybody's going to be infected even when we saw it where it was we didn't know what was going on in the NBA like what the Brooklyn Nets had four guys tested and or four guys tested positive you talk a look at you know the whole Rudy Gobert situation you know two guys testing positive the whole team just doesn't come down with it the same way that you have and the flu in regular day life everybody doesn't get it I mean, and as far as I know, like when, when a team leaves, like let's say you go from Philadelphia to, to Orlando, when a team leaves, it's not like they go through regular security like everybody else. Like I don't understand why we can't just do it the regular way and just not have any fans. It's not like they're on commercial flights with everyone else. They're on their own planes. Everybody's tested. Nobody has it. What's the problem with getting on a plane and going to, you know, playing the, everybody's on the same playing field. So I don't know, I guess for baseball and, and for stuff like that, basketball, I, they might have to do that. I don't know. But I think hearing a guy like Fauci say this is obviously important because for most of it, it was just, you know, people that weren't doctors or whatever saying, oh, I think we could play. But now that he's come out and said, it, I think Fauci, and I think these officials understand 
what sports could do to this country. It could help considerably, Donnie. You're starting to have people see some money in their accounts. You're starting to see people figure out that, hey, this will be over eventually. There's still these fear-mongering people that actually think we could stay in a house for 18 months straight and <laughs> never leave. That's not possible. You and I both know that. Um, but I think you're starting to see a little normalcy mm-hmm. come back. If sports can rem- you know, come back to us, th- then, you know, you know, we, we can start to heal a little bit. I, saw, I even saw one yesterday, which which was amazing. The tagline on the bottom of CNN, because all these news networks, we we know, Jeff, it's not really about the actual news that comes no. out. It's what's going to actually move the needle and get people sure. to watch. The bottom line on CNN actually said they had the one doctor on, and he thinks we should shut it all down till 2022. Yeah, and I said, nonsense. what planet are we actually living on at this point? Because even your everyday life, Jeff, your supermarket, right? If a person tests positive for COVID-19, they remove them out of the workforce for 14 to 20 days so they get healthy and can come back here. The whole notion of if one guy tests positive out of 1,300 athletes, why do you have to shut the whole thing down? Can't you that's- just remove that person for two weeks and bring them back in? And I think that's where like a lot of and, and look, I, I'm not a supporter of Donald Trump, but I, I think that's where some of I think his uh, points come in and are valid. He realizes that the economic problems you're going to have are going to outweigh the virus tenfold. We've got to start to get back to something. I don't think it's going to be in a week or two, but eventually people need to realize we've got to go back to work. We've got to start living life again. This country's not built on everyone is staying in their houses. It's just that simple. And I, th- I think some of those negative people obviously take those words and, and make them crazy. But you're right. If you have a, a, a league that has 1,200 players in it and one player gets the flu, you don't shut the entire league down. I'm not saying this is the flu, but if someone gets sick, if, if I break my leg and I'm an NFL player, the whole team doesn't stop playing. Um, we have to get to that point. And, and the problem is we've painted this thing as it's like a flesh-eating disease that we're all going to die from if we immediately contract it. Yes, it's important. And yes, we need to stay inside. But we have to start looking at ways where we can continue to live our lives. And maybe if you feel sick, you should stay home. We should be a little bit more open to letting people stay home and, and that kind of thing. But if we can get six out of ten people to work instead of zero out of ten, it's going to make a big difference. No, you're right. And we take a look at the leagues. You know, they're putting together these task force, and they got some pretty good guys on there that know a little bit about yeah. making money and putting on a good show. Jerry Jones, you know, Robert Kraft, Mark Cuban also. We also saw the PGA Tour Jeff say, hey, you know what? Look, we, it's not exact, but we're pushing ahead to go early June and have our tournament structure begin and certainly get on. It's nice to see some of these, you know, task force come together. Some of these leagues say, look, we don't know if we can return, but we're going to plan on it. If things go the way we think, we'll be back to business. Yeah, good for the PGA for reaching out and saying, you know what, we're going to be the first. Yep. I don't think anyone wants to be the first. No, correct. I don't think anyone wants to say, look, we're restarting and this is how it's going to be. The NFL has kind of done it and people got pissed off about it. <laughs> but I think what you're going to see, Don, is you're going to start seeing other groups come out. NASCAR, I think they're next. Again, I don't understand why NASCAR stopped. I really don't. Uh, they race on Mondays without fans. I get you have the crew chiefs and the, the pit crew. You can test those people, though. We've Correct. got to get to that point. And I think PGA is saying, look, we need something here. And we can be it. And I, th- I think they're going to be it. the problem I have, Donnie, is how, how is this affected? Because you're already seeing with the UFC, Dana White has done everything he can to get events go- uh, going and, and these states come in and shut it down. So the, the problem is, it seems like, and to me, Donnie, and I, and I don't, I don't want to be obtuse when I make this comment, but I think states are kind of, they're kind of the enemy right now for a lot of people. People look at them as the enemy because they want to shut all the fun things down and they don't want anyone to do anything. But the problem you have here is with all this thing, whether you're a sports league commissioner, whoever you are, you, you own a grocery store. You don't want to be the person that has blood in your hand. You don't want to be the person that doesn't follow suit and then people start dying. Nobody wants to be that. And that's why the response to this has been what it is. It's just become a domino effect that everybody follows suit. My thing is, We've gotten a lot of bad news. We finally get some good news, but I'm sure wherever that state is, where the Charles Schwab Invitational is, that state will come in and say, nope, not going to happen here. No, it's certainly day-to-day, as we like to say in our lives here, Jeff. But we'll keep you posted on everything here at PubSportsRadio.com. Keep in mind, Jeff, today is Wednesday. Next Thursday, we're actually going to have a lot of fun doing some real draft talk. We'll certainly keep you updated on all that and much more. But, hey, this is what we have right now, Jeff. When I wake up in the morning, I check the paper. It's not to see what the final score is. It's who, which league is going to come back first. Looks like the PGA Tour is doing that for us, Jeff. And hopefully, that's going to be a sign of things to come. They're going to they're gonna make a ton of money on that first uh 
first tournament, wherever it is, whatever it is. Uh, yeah, we, you just got to keep going, man. It, it's starting to. Are you are you used to this now, Donnie? You wake I mean, up, you have no purpose. That's where you are right now. You, you look at, I mean, certain parts of my days, it's just like, what do you do? What do you? You just try to stay busy and. Eventually, it'll be over. Yeah, because we don't have the everyday prognostication we usually have, Jeff, right? We have the fun of waking up in the morning doing the odds. We have the fun of doing content, talking about the odds and what we think is going to happen. Then we have the fun of watching it go down. And then we have the stress and the pressure of if they actually come correct and doing it all again the next day. It's, it seems like it's been it's years, always, man. That's the good thing about sports. It's always going to happen yeah. again tomorrow. And no matter how bad your life is, your girlfriend breaks up with you, yeah. you, 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 you know, something happens. You break your leg. You can always know that sports next day. Eagles will be, be on Sunday. Up. Yeah, look, I'm looking forward to the game. Something to look forward to, Jeff, is all we have right now. We don't even have that, really. No, it's it's tough, man. And it's it's taken everything. It's taken, mm-hmm. you know, everything we've had, and it's now gone. Uh, but, hey, I don't – listen, this is what people – some people have to deal with all the time. <laughs> so just make sure you're – you know, you got to – see this thing, Donnie? You mm-hmm. got this. Yep. You got this. Yep. You know, be happy you have that at least. No, it is what we do here at PubSportsRadio.com. We'll keep you involved on a hot topic each and every day. Tomorrow we'll come back. Maybe we'll talk some draft. Maybe we'll talk about another league, Jeff, that's planning to come back. But we do it right here at PubSportsRadio.com. He's Jeff Nadu. I'm Donnie Seymour. Tune in tomorrow for another episode of Hot Topics.